Hello and welcome back to the 41st tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be extending the menu even further that we've done in the previous two tutorials by adding a menu image item. A menu image item as it suggests is just basically a menu item with an image so sort of like a sprite. So yeah let's just get down to this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 40 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm just gonna go and open up the project from tutorial 40. Once it's open you want to go to the myapp.js uh, we're gonna add a new menu item so we're gonna call it var menu underscore Oops, item 4, I just did enter, so let's type in equals cc dot menu item, not fine, but you want to do menu item image dot create, open close bracket, semicolon, and in, inside the first parameter, it will take in its normal image, so that will be red, for slash close, normal dot png, Next parameter it will take is its selected image, thus res forward slash close selected.png. No, these don't have to be different. Obviously, if they were different, it just looks a lot more professional when you publish it. But they could be the same, it doesn't really matter. Then you put the actual callback. So we're gonna create a new function in a moment. And so I'm gonna do this dot image underscore button. And then you just put the target, which is this. So we'll check the formatting on this piece of code. Now let's just add the menu item. I was going to copy and paste this line. Control C, Control V. So we'll the formatting. Change that to menu item four. But before we edit any more stuff here, because like I said in the previous tutorial, this is a nice little way I center the items depending on what axis what axis you want for the y it's obviously the second parameter for the x will be the first parameter but you get the number of menu items plus one and you divide it divide that into the height of the screen so because we've got four menu items now we're going to divide it by five and this way it's nice and evenly spaced out i'm going to just times that by four three two that's already one so that is fine now we just need to actually add the menu item so menu let's go item four and the last thing we actually have to do is actually create the callback i'm going to copy and paste this and then change this to image underscore button and i'm going to change the code to i mean the log to image button sort out the formatting of the code before we run it okay there we go let's click play and run and what we should get is a menu like we had in the previous tutorial with these three menu font items and we should also get an image below it as well there you go we've got the play button you click play say play game click high score say show high scores Click settings, you say settings, then we click the it's actually an on or on off button and it just says image button. This could maybe turn your app on and off. You generally don't have button for that. It might be a music toggle or a audio effect toggle. Sometimes you have them maybe like in the corner and you could like toggle the music on and off and toggle the audio on and off. And perhaps you have some sort of other toggles as well. But that's how you actually add a menu image item. It's very simple, you can add as many as you want. In the next tutorial we'll be looking at menu alignment we've already done a menu alignment here using this little algorithm formula that i just gave you but there's actually some cool built-in functions into the menu itself which we'll be using and you can choose which one you want to use both will be nicely dynamic independent of the actual device you use but that's for the next tutorial which will be menu alignment thanks for watching this tutorial